I've spent 60 years looking for Megariza. Since Kid 4-H days collecting bugs for county fairs, through teen years exploring the outdoors, through earned college forestry and entomology degrees, and after four decades of diligently filming nature and wildlife for broadcast and magazines, I've glimpsed the giant Megariza ichneumon wasp on just a few occasions. And until now, I've never seen its unbelievable way of laying eggs. I guess it's fitting that success finally came on my own newly acquired land. Last fall, I filmed there a young elm succumbing to drought and understory shade. And the tree's last gasp emitted signals, a key part of the Megariza story. It attracted the equally rare pigeon horntail wasp. Pigeon horntails pierce and lay eggs in dying wood, helping break down unhealthy trees to allow new and vibrant growth later. And these tunneling horntail grubs are the sole hosts of giant ichneumon wasps. Megariza hunts horntails. It's a large creature that neither bites nor stings humans. And it would appear unable to fly with its smallish wings, oversized body, and most notably, very long and supple tail through which it lays eggs. But fly it does, and just at the right time. It searches woodlands seeking sand and sounds of horn tails in dying trees. And that's the mystery of this whole larger story. When it finds its target, it lands and somehow pinpoints the large hidden grub beneath. And then it pulls its horsehair tail, a two-part drill plus egg-laying tube, and bores through inches of hard dead wood to sting and lay an egg in its victim. That hatches, and over months, the Megariza larva eats its prey, eventually bores out as an adult, and repeats the yearly cycle. Fascinating. It's almost never witnessed. I'd always hoped to find an ichneumon wasp stuck to a dead tree, presuming it would take hours to drill through rock-hard wood. But I learned by watching that it's quick. The whole egg-laying process occurs in less than 10 minutes, and then Megariza disappears again. So it's a fleeting opportunity. It was a marvel to watch Megariza, and I'm thrilled to share it on video. My quest was fulfilled in a vast natural world at a tiny 6-inch square area where half a dozen mother ichneumonids found their quarries and laid eggs over just a few days. Finally, I was there to see it. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.